Hello, my name's Jenny. Welcome to Art Online with Chrysalis. Um, today I'm going to be looking at art journaling. It's one of my favorite things to do and I will be teaching how to do art journaling in stages. So this will be stage one, we'll be pasting using glue, gel medium, Mod Podge, any of those three things are sufficient for what we're doing today. So this is the art journal that I have from the dollar store. You can see a little dollar store sticker, four dollars. And in here is all the kinds of arts I've done. I've done watercolor in here, acrylics, mixed media, and I've also used the pages for art journaling which is very different from any other style of art. Here I did some watercolor, but primarily I wanted to show you an art journaling page, and this is more art journaling. So here is some stenciling. Again, stenciling can be quite expensive. Michaels does have stencils there. You can also buy them online at Amazon at a very reasonable price. Any kind of stem stenciling is fun but we can also use household items for stenciling and I will be demonstrating how to do this in the following videos. Is paper in the background and then we use um, lots of acrylic paints um, and then later when everything's dried we can do some writing. Any words that mean things to you, maybe you want to talk about or write about your feelings, your hopes, your dreams, thoughts, ideas, just generally anything. Art journaling is very personal and it will be personal for you and you do it the way you want to do it. It's very self-expressive and personal. So I can't emphasize that enough. Everybody's art journal will look extremely different from each other's because it is about what is important to you and what is meaningful for you. The kinds of paper that um, I like to stick down, and that is what we do for the very first thing, is I like to use the um, paper that's provided at Michael's. They come in sheets of 12 by 12. And there are other ways that you can brighten up your page without using expensive things that you buy in stores. Wrapping paper, which is fantastic to use for art journaling because it's very colorful and it'll really brighten up my page. You could use, um, Sometimes we get junk mail thrown at it, put on our doorstep or it's in our mailbox. Um, and shopping magazines that are delivered to us for free. So we can use things like that. I found this in the post only today. Use pages, anything that's colorful in here and we can tear it out. We can also use the writing as background to make our art journaling very interesting. To use musical notes or any sheet music that I might find at the reuse store. So that's another place that you can go to where you can buy so many wonderful things for art journaling at the reuse center. You can have a box and fill it up with wonderful things like uh, corks or um, uh, plastic bubble paper, magazines, books, and it's very, very cheap, very good price and you're also recycling and reusing material, which is a wonderful thing to be doing with art journaling. And that will be my focus over the next few videos is on how to recycle and reuse things that we have in our home or things that are in our recycling bin already. So the next thing I wanna talk about is the kind of glue that we can use. I have glue in a tub. This is gel medium that I did buy from an art store, but you can use household craft glue that you find at Walmart. That is fine. I, you'll also need some paint brushes. So this one is a very old one that I have. It's good to use old paint brushes or, or inexpensive paint brushes for gluing and art journaling. This one I found um, you can buy at the dollar store. They have paint brushes as well. When I use the glue with my paintbrush, it's really important that when I'm finished painting or pasting that I clean my brushes really well. So I wanted to just talk about that for a minute. So what I do is I pump some soap into my hand and then under running water, I swirl my paintbrush in the soap on my hand to rinse out all the paint, the acrylic paint or all the glue off my paintbrush. I mentioned stenciling earlier. So this is what a stencil looks like. There are thousands of choices out there for stenciling, which is really fun. And reuse purposes, 
And also for keeping our costs down, I would like to use household items for our stenciling. So the kind of household items that we could use for stenciling is a cling wrap, a little bit of cling wrap. This can create a lot of texture. You can see I've used it already. You dip it in the paint and you can create a lot of interesting texture and patterns when, when doing, using that for art journaling. The other thing I have around, lying around the house is some bubble wrap. This is also a wonderful way of creating those circles in art, in art journaling. Having the house is cork. Cork, um, you can get these at the Review Center would have these too. Um, you may have some as well, but anything with circles. So I have also um, a lid from a milk bottle. So I can press that into my paint and create circle patterns. Now we're going to be looking at tearing our paper, not cutting, and how to paste our paper into our art journals. So here is the magazine that I, I am looking at. And I found a page that I really like. I really love this rainbow effect and I love this hand reaching out. <clears throat> so I've torn that out. And often with art journaling, we do tearing, we don't do cutting. Tearing gives us a nice soft edge. If we didn't do tearing, we'd have really straight edges and that's harder to blend with our acrylic paints later for when we're doing the sponge painting. So we want to tear everything. So I'm tearing around these words because I really like the, what the words say. Rejoicing in the hope. And I just want us to think, what does that mean? What does hope mean to me? Um, sometimes life can be really difficult. Sometimes um, I don't want to be hopeful, especially during this time with the COVID-19. It's really difficult being stuck inside all the time. And so sometimes we can lose our joy. Um, we can lose motivation. We can lose purpose. And so... I'm, so for today, when I found this in a magazine, rejoice, Rejoicing in the Hope, I, I want to think about what, what am I hoping for? I'm hoping that the COVID-19 will be over soon. I'm hoping to be able to connect with my friends again. I'm hoping to be able to do art at Christmas again with everybody and having a lot of fun together and seeing each other and talking face to face. So that's where my hope is right now. Um, but while we're, while we're actually just tearing this here but while we're actually stuck inside and we're keeping everybody safe by doing that um, we can have a hope in doing other things that we've never done before like spending more time with the people we love in our home or maybe we can hope to um, learn a new skill that we've never learned before and maybe we would never learn if we weren't going through this process of being um, stuck inside our homes so we can turn things around for positive as well and so art journaling is a bit like that it's about exploring how we're feeling it's finding things in a magazine and that might trigger something in us of um of how we're feeling so i saw this rejoicing in in the hope and i think hope is a really important word because we um, need hope or otherwise we we don't feel like we can keep going in life sometimes paper but it's really colorful so what's interesting about this is that already I'm starting to see a theme that I want to to work on this is a little bit gloomy in 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 color and so I might make this my gloomy page because this is sometimes how we can feel when we're at home we can feel a bit gloomy a little bit isolated and depressed but if we think about what we hope in and we look at the positives of our situation we can move into a more colorful kind of way of thinking and so that's what I'm going to do with this page I found this paper I'm just going to bring the whole thing notice how I'm brushing my strokes away from the center this is so that my if I go this way I could crumple up my paper it could come end up coming backwards so I don't want to do that you can go and make yourself a cup of tea while it's drying or you can even use a hair dryer to speed things along so this is what we covered recycling tearing and pasting our paper down and how we're feeling and the word hope how we need that word to get through things in our life 
I hope you enjoyed this introduction to art journaling and that you'll come back for part two and the rest of the series that will continue.